It's Friday night and I put on makeup. You know why? To reorganize my bookshelf. Hi there. My name is Tina and I like books. So fall is almost here, which means it's time to redecorate my room, specifically in this instance, my beautiful bookshelf. Nothing about this is particularly summery, but I thought I would zhuzh it up for fall. How do you spell the word zhuzh? I'm also going to add in the books that I read this past August. If you saw my August TBR, obviously I didn't finish everything that I said I was going to read, but... Say lovey, let's get started. As you can tell, I had quite a few thoughts while reading these books. I also haven't dusted my bookshelf in months. Like I've dusted this exposed part out here, but I haven't dusted behind the books since like, I don't know, March or April. I'm like kind of scared to see what's behind there. I hope it's not dead bugs. It's probably going to be dead bugs. Oh, where do I start? I think you just start taking things off the shelf. How many times have you done this, Christina? So we're getting all of my little trinkets and things off the bookshelf. Look at this, I have an old camera. I think I just broke it. I, I don't know if you can, if this is usable. I don't think it is. I've had it for like 10 years and I've never used it. But like, I gotta, I gotta see. I just think it looks good. Got it at a garage sale. Say cheese. I'm just kidding, I don't have, there's nothing in here. I don't know if I mentioned this on this channel, but I used to coach Color Guard, and one year, the kids that I coached uh, took the music, the sheet music from the song we did in marching band. It happened to be Love Runs Out by, uh, I was gonna say One Direction, it's One Republic. <laughs> but they took the sheet music from Love Runs Out, which is one of the songs that we did, and they, I think it's Mod Podged it on here, on a C, because that's what my name starts with, and um, they all signed it. I thought that was really cute, and I still have it, because they were all sweet. And then we have a clock that I keep forgetting to change the batteries for you will notice that that is a theme in my life all right uh i guess we just dive in right and just all these books are gonna fall on me it's gonna be really fun it's caught on my twinkly lights guess what i never change the batteries in these twinkly lights there's an easier way to do this i'm just not doing it oh my god could i have been a waitress also tell me in the comments how you like to sort your bookshelf as you can see i sort it by color i like the way it looks but I'm always thinking of other possibilities. Sometimes I kind of want to organize it by genre or like by author. There's like a 99.9% .9 chance I'm going to keep it this way. I just wanted to fall it up. Oh, I just dropped my books everywhere. Oh cool, my hair's back there. No. no. Why is this so hard for me to do? I don't get it. You just grab books and make sure they don't fall. Fence myself in with books and I don't have a place to put these books. Uh, nightstand barely has room, but we'll put it there. Wow, okay. Like I said last time, this is my dream, but also my curse. No, oh God, I have so many books everywhere. It's my dream, but also my curse. Please don't let there be any dead bugs back here. All right, we're gonna add the first book. Hello, it is Mamrie Hearts, I got this round. Okay, so, uh, 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 oh, I'm gonna flatten this book. I don't wanna do that. I kind of want to change things this time around. Why am I out of breath from lifting up books from the ground? I don't understand this. We're gonna do a little bit of this. Um, don't fall, because we're gonna have a problem if you do that, but you fell, so that's cool. I feel like this is the most awkward book cover of all time. Like, I don't think I ever read this book in public when I was first reading it, because I don't want people to judge me. It's not all about the kissing, I promise. <laughs> Lesson Every Last Word, which is what I read last month, I think it kind of goes in the section of like whites and creamy, beigey off-whites. All right, now stop moving. Or keep going, that's also fine. This is really weird, you can't see me. I feel like I'm the neighbor, Wilson, I think his name is, in Home Improvement. So before I had my white books all stacked up on top of each other horizontally. They weren't in color order, they were in size order so they could stack, of course. Now I wanna do it in color order. And as you can see, we have some like kind of beigey off-whites. I'm not good with colors, so I might be incorrect about this. Like what is considered off-white? Oh yeah, just knock it all over, baby. Possibly, does this go here? Oh, maybe, maybe I'm doing this kind of okay. That seems about like, I guess okay. Next up, we got the pinks. So they're gonna go here. Ah, yes. Oh look, how beautiful. I completely forget where, I, oh shoot, okay, let me just break my shelves. I forget what order things were in now because I didn't put things in order on the floor, so that was really smart. After red comes orange, right? Hmm. 
Welcome back to my face. I have a lot of books that are blue, black, or white, and I don't know if that's just like a coincidence, if I just like the... Actually, I have a lot of pink books too. I feel like my top three colors are black, white, blue, and pink is like kind of there. I don't know, leave me a comment below and tell me like what color books you have a lot of. I forgot such a fun age. I think I'm gonna put it here. All right, uh, okay, that was cool. That's pretty cool. Pretty much all the books that I own that I've read fit, like fit perfectly. Like there's just a little bit of a wiggle room here, but look at that. The very bottom shelf are the books that I own but I haven't read yet. And I'm just gonna leave it the way it is because I have it sorted into like, hey, I'm probably gonna read this one in October. I'm probably gonna read this one in November. We'll see what happens. So this is what my bookshelf looks like right now with all the books on it, but no like joie de vivre, no zhuzhing, if you will. I promised myself I wasn't gonna buy like stupid things anymore, but I bought stupid things, hello. Here are some more fake succulents because I could actually kill succulents. I tend to keep things with like the color that they are. I don't know if that's good, but that's how I do it. Also like as much as I love this succulent, it's just too summery, it has to go. I'm sorry, succulent. I gotta put my friends back though. They gotta stay on the shelf. And Sabrina, she's got the fall vibes, you know? I think the first episode of Chilling Adventures of Sabrina is called October Country or October County or something. I'm probably wrong. I also have to put Pua back because Pua's adorable. Honestly, I feel like I'm not following this up as, like as, that much. I have my fox, I have my, my, my meower, but I, I feel like this is not very fall. I don't know where to put this, but... Maybe I should actually use it to open some bottles. I had to go digging through my stuff, but I found these. I got so scared that I lost these. I feel really dumb for buying these fake succulents when I had these the whole time. I know these are not fake succulents, but they're pumpkins. <laughs> Dusty ones at that. I'm just gonna take some out. I don't know where the heck I'm gonna put them. Just put a pumpkin somewhere and it's fall. Pula gets a pumpkin. I have a different place for these. Deadpool gets a pumpkin. I guess that goes there. It's been a while since I broke out the glue gun, but it felt like the right occasion. I'm in a weird mood tonight. I bought this last year to literally glue these leaves like onto my lights. So better late than never. I feel like Morticia in the Adams Family where she's cutting <laughs> the roses off and just leaving the stems, it's a mood. I don't know what else this would be used for. Like what, why would you buy these if not for cutting off and like using the leaves as decor? Or am I just stupid? It might just be that I'm stupid. I mean, I guess you could do like a bouquet of fake flowers. That would be kind of fun. I guess I'm not so stupid after all. We got some leaves. It's probably a better way to like set all of this up, like to do this DIY, but I'm really tired. I just kind of want to get this over with. How do I do this? Okay, we're gonna do it. <laughs> Nope, okay. Uh, maybe we do like a little dot on the leaf. Oh yes, that's good and stringy, we love it. I definitely burnt myself, but we're fine. That's what it looks like and I just messed up my camera again, of course I did. There it is, isn't she lovely? Now I know what you're thinking. You keep these up year round, these lights, and you're putting these leaves on them. What are you gonna do when fall is over? Uh, burn this. That's just the only way. Everyone's gonna ask me, what did you do with your Friday night? Oh, I just glued a bunch of leaves to my twinkle lights. Duh. I swear to God, if I wake up tomorrow and these leaves are all on the floor, I'm gonna lose it. And that's it. I feel like that was rather anticlimactic, but to me, it was still anticlimactic. Don't forget to subscribe because I post new videos every Saturday and sometimes I post a random tag on Tuesday and I will see you next time. Goodbye.